This is what happens when you love money more than God. World-renowned Dallas pastor T.D. Jakes is named in a federal lawsuit against musician Sean Diddy Cone. It's all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.D. Jakes, any of them, the, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. <laughs> The worst that could happen if, it, if, if everything was true, all I got to do is repent sincerely from my heart. I don't think so. Immediately following Prince Harry, we encounter the name of Bishop T.D. Jakes, one of the notable figures implicated in the case against him. The allegations are absurd, suggesting he's exploiting his connection with the bishop to lessen the blow of Casey Venture's lawsuit on his public image as a Christian. Associating oneself with such individuals, even in seemingly friendly situations, is incongruous with the principles of Christianity. According to the Bible, in 1 Timothy 6.10, it's stated that the love of money is the root of all evil. Those who pursue wealth may stray from their faith and bring upon themselves many sorrows. Those who despise money often reject the resources it represents, recognizing that what comes to one will ultimately go to another. If Bishop T.D. Jakes did not prioritize the love of money and exercise discernment in his associations, he likely wouldn't have found himself in his current predicament. If you haven't been keeping up with the news, there have been allegations against Puff Daddy, also known as P. Diddy, since last year. Bishop T.D. Jakes has been implicated in these charges with some prophets even mentioning it in November and December of 2023. There was considerable buzz surrounding the events, and many rushed to T.D. Jakes' defense attributing the accusations to the work of the enemy. However, from my perspective, there were indications that T.D. Jakes could indeed have been involved. While he may not be entirely culpable, there appeared to be some level of association. As a Christian, it's imperative to discern whom we associate with. While some may argue that I should first address my own shortcomings before making such judgments, I stand by my belief that certain affiliations are incompatible with Christian principles. Today, we may finally uncover the full truth behind these allegations. On March 26, 2024, at 12.47 p.m., an article published by Newsweek revealed that several celebrities were named in court documents pertaining to music producer Rodney Jones' $30 million lawsuit against scene Diddy Combs. Jones lodged his complaint on February 26, alleging sexual misconduct and grooming against Combs. Additionally, Jones accused Combs of involvement in these activities. As I have emphasized before, it's crucial to be mindful of the company we keep for the sake of upholding the gospel. I do not consider T.D. Jakes to exemplify Christian values. Rather, I perceive him as a fraudulent preacher who has propagated the prosperity gospel for personal gain over many years. It appears that now he may be facing the consequences of his actions. My intention is not to be pessimistic or wish ill upon T.D. Jakes, Rather, I am simply acknowledging the evident truth. This article, authored by a collection of celebrities, provides insights into the individuals mentioned in the lawsuit. According to the report, the celebrities listed in the complaint include Stevie Che, Stephen Ahn Jordan, a music producer and television personality, a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj, name redacted, and a Grammy award-winning R&B singer. Notably, among them is Young Miami, although I'm not familiar with who that individual is. It's rather perplexing to find the name of a prominent figure like Prince Harry mixed into this narrative, followed closely by Bishop T.D. Jakes, who finds himself embroiled in the legal proceedings against T.D. The allegations against Jakes are deeply disturbing. As a Christian, it's inconceivable to see his name associated with such charges. Christians should refrain from affiliating with individuals like Jakes in any friendly capacity. Now let's delve into why Bishop T.D. Jakes finds himself entangled in this situation. It appears that his fondness for wealth plays a significant role. I don't make this assertion lightly or without basis. It stems from Jake's own admissions. He seems willing to socialize with those whose beliefs differ from yours, all in pursuit of prosperity and acclaim. Allow me to present you with a recording that may shed further light on this matter. In this tape, Bishop T.D. Jakes, speaking at Elevation Church, discusses success under the guise of building your vision from the ground up. Upon closer examination, it becomes evident that this discourse has little to do with the teachings of Jesus Christ. It's devoid of spiritual substance and instead focuses on achieving fame, wealth, and worldly desires. Let's take a moment to listen to an excerpt. 
In everything in my life I stumbled into, is that right? I stumbled into. I never thought I would be producing films. My wife and I started out- Everything in my life I stumbled into. Is that right? I stumbled into, I never thought I would be producing films. My wife and I started out doing gospel plays and going on tour doing gospel plays. We had no intention that we were going to ever do movies. Entering into the realm of filmmaking, T.D. Jakes eagerly collaborates with others, driven by the allure of potential wealth, fame, and accomplishment. As previously mentioned, let's continue listening to his account. He recalls a time when he was in dire financial straits, on the verge of sleeping in his car. However, amid this narrative, there's a notable absence of certain topics typically associated with Christian discourse. The absence of discussions on sin, hell, or contemporary issues like LGBT. Ruben Cannon was in the crowd and he saw the play and he said, I want to make it a movie. He said, I want to make it a movie. I didn't have, bear in mind, I didn't have no movie money. Movie and money both start with the M for a reason, <laughs> okay? <laughs> when you have one, you got to have the other. TQ plus rights and homosexuality is conspicuous. It suggests a deliberate avoidance, perhaps influenced by financial ties to groups and individuals engaged in activities contrary to traditional Christian values. This underscores the transactional nature of these relationships, highlighting a departure from genuine Christian principles. It's essential to under- <laughs> But he said something to me that becomes the way business people think. They don't fail to do something because they don't have the money. He says, we'll raise the money. Let's do the movie. Listen to the different events. Underscoring the intertwined nature of wealth and influence in contemporary society. Everything that comes your way is often facilitated through another person. Underscoring the importance of treating others with care and respect. It's crucial to recognize People who don't like money don't like resources because everything that's ever going to come to you is going to come through a person. That's why you got to be careful how you treat people because it's not guaranteed that it'll be somebody you like, your friend, they won't necessarily be your color, and they may not have your theology. Okay? But God may use them to bless you. You know, the ravens didn't go to church, but they fed Elijah. So anyway, so we put the money together. <laughs> that blessings may come from unexpected sources, irrespective of their personal affiliations or beliefs. Just as the ravens provided for Elijah despite their lack of religious inclination, blessings can manifest through various avenues. Unfortunately, individuals like T.D. Jakes often prioritize worldly success over spiritual growth, leading them to disregard the teachings of the Bible. Despite this, millions of followers continue to support and defend him, driven by worldly aspirations rather than a focus on heavenly rewards. T.D. Jake's association with Diddy in numerous articles and videos further solidifies his entanglement in controversy. For instance, a lawsuit involving T.D. Jake's and Seen Diddy comms sheds light on the interconnectedness of their names in over 500,000 online references. This association underscores the complexity of the situation. Dallas Mega Church Pastor T.D. Jakes finds himself embroiled in legal matters, adding another layer to his already complex public image. As reported in various articles, T.D. Jakes' name has become linked to seen Diddy comms in a lawsuit, highlighting the entanglement of their reputations. This association raises questions about T.D. Jakes' involvement in the matter and adds to the ongoing scrutiny surrounding his actions and affiliations. In the initial video addressing this issue, the focus was on Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry's collaborations and visits to each other's lavish homes, highlighting the absence of financial compensation. As I mentioned earlier, T.D. Jake's legitimacy as a pastor or Bible teacher comes into question in light of these revelations. He appears to be facing the consequences of his actions, reaping what he has sown. My sincere hope and prayer for him is that he will earnestly reflect on these matters, repent of his adherence to the prosperity gospel and pursuit of wealth and ultimately find reconciliation with the Lord, avoiding the risk of being rejected as a mere pretender. With that, I conclude this video. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below.